Good afternoon, Clint Clare. My name is Mihira. Let's start the warm up session. What are the qualities that a nurse should possess? Of course, a nurse should possess a variety of qualities. First of all, if she should possess excellent communication skills which help them not only to gather clinical data but also to maintain an effective relationship with other team members. Secondly, problem-solving and critical thinking skills are essential for nurses to deal with emergencies and difficult situations. Other qualities such as punctuality, dedication, honesty, and competency are also pivotal for nurses. Do you have a role model? Yes, I do. My role model is my mother. I follow many things that my mother does. It is from my mother I learned the basics of kind behavior, decision-making, and organizing skills, a polite and humble manner, helping and sharing mentality. The care and respect she gives to everyone makes me wonder sometimes. She is a perfect example of womanhood. I believe a nurse should possess all these qualities. She is my superhero. Which is your favorite destination? Why? My dream destination is Australia. The first and foremost thing is that Australia has a world-class healthcare system and I can be a part of it. Secondly, the country has a better standard of living and economic and political stability. Besides, here nurses are paid well and respected too. In addition, I have many friends and relatives over there so they can help me during my initial days. What are the current trends in your profession? Nursing is a dynamic profession and changes happen daily. Nowadays technology plays a vital role in my profession. For instance, paper records that we used in older days have been updated to electronic records. Besides at present, we are following evidence-based practice which means there is a scientific rationale for every procedure. Moreover, in present days a nurse can function as a nurse practitioner which is equivalent to the position of a physician. What are the pieces of advice for the upcoming nurses? As a nurse, I can give a bunch of advice to upcoming nurses. Firstly I advise them to love their profession. If anyone loves their profession they can carry out their responsibilities in an efficient manner without complaints. Apart from that, I advise them to be dedicated to their profession and maintain professional standards. These are very essential because a nurse should abide by nursing ethics on any grounds. These are a few pieces of advice that I like to give to future nurses.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Hello, Mihira. I'm Nurse Clint Clare. I will be your attending nurse. Could you please confirm the reason for your visit? Hi, Clint. I'm here to get the results of my baby's test. Of course. Thank you for coming in today. I have the results of your baby's blood test. I'm sorry to inform you that the test confirms that your little one has jaundice. I want to assure you, though, that while jaundice sounds alarming, it's actually quite common in newborns. The good news is that it hasn't spread to the liver and is not severe. How are you feeling about this? I can't believe it. How can you be sure that it's jaundice? Mihira, I know it's concerning to hear that your baby has jaundice, and it's completely normal to feel worried. Let me explain a bit more about what this means. Jaundice occurs when there's a higher level of bilirubin in the baby's blood. Bilirubin is a yellow substance that's produced when red blood cells break down naturally in the body. Normally, the liver helps to process and remove bilirubin from the blood. However, in newborns, the liver is still maturing and might not yet be fully efficient at filtering out bilirubin. This can cause the bilirubin to build up, which is why you might have noticed a yellowish tinge on your baby's skin or the whites of their eyes. The good news is that this type of jaundice is very common in newborns, especially in the first few days of life. It's usually not severe and tends to resolve on its own as the baby's liver matures and becomes better at processing bilirubin. We'll monitor it closely, but in most cases, it doesn't cause any lasting problems. So while it's understandable to be worried, please know that this is something we see often in newborns, and it generally improves with time and the right care. Does that help clarify things a bit? Yes, but why did my baby get sick so early? It's natural to feel concerned when your baby is unwell, especially at such a young age. Jaundice isn't something that you or your baby could have prevented, it's simply part of the body's adjustment after birth. Mihira, one of the best things you can do right now is to focus on breastfeeding as much as possible. Breastfeeding is incredibly beneficial for your baby in so many ways. Not only does it help keep your baby hydrated, which is crucial for flushing out that excess bilirubin, but it also provides essential nutrients that boost your baby's developing immune system. Every time you breastfeed, you're not just feeding your baby, but also strengthening that special bond between you two, which is so important for your baby's emotional and physical development. I know breastfeeding can be challenging, but the benefits for your baby's health and well-being are truly significant. Can you tell me a bit about how breastfeeding has been going for you? It's been less frequent than I'd like. My baby seems to prefer bottle feeding and struggles to drink when I try to breastfeed. Mihira, I understand that you're concerned and want to do everything you can to help your baby. One of the most important things you can do right now is to try and feed your baby as often as possible. Frequent breastfeeding is crucial because it helps to reduce jaundice by encouraging your baby's body to flush out the excess bilirubin. Every time your baby feeds, they're taking in the nutrients and hydration they need to process that bilirubin more effectively. Breastfeeding is a natural process, but it may take some practice to establish a comfortable and successful latch. Proper latching is essential for preventing sore nipples and ensuring the baby receives adequate milk. There are several comfortable positions for breastfeeding, the key is to find a position that feels comfortable and supports your baby's head and body. It's also important to change positions frequently to prevent soreness and to ensure both breasts are used equally. The more often you can breastfeed, the better it will be for your baby's health and recovery. Remember, breastfeeding takes time and patience. I recommend you seek guidance from a lactation consultant if you encounter any difficulties. With practice and support, you can establish a successful breastfeeding relationship with your baby. I'll try. Is there anything else I should be doing? You're doing great by being so proactive. Along with frequent breastfeeding, it's important to keep an eye on your baby's overall health. Mihira, 
I'd like to schedule a follow-up checkup in a few days to monitor your baby's bilirubin levels and ensure they're coming down. During the checkup, we'll also assess your baby's weight, temperature, and general well-being to make sure everything is on track. We're here to support you every step of the way. Okay, I'll be back for the follow-up. Thank you Nurse Claire. You're very welcome Mihira. Take care of yourself and your little one.